Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, guys, we are back on the Patreon server. We are over by the swamp base, and currently all we have so far, well, we have a, a spare pteranodon hanging out on our roof. Um, I think that's a wild pteranodon. So far, all we have at the swamp castle is a, a baryonyx, and this shark and I definitely want more underwater tames to start filling up this area and so today I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and try to find ourselves a Basilosaurus. Now Basilosaurus are actually very um, not very rare but pretty rare they're not the most common things in the world and it can be difficult to find a high level one so we're gonna head out today and we are going to go towards herbivore island usually there's at least one hanging out around herbivore island I'm really hoping we find one out there because I would really love to have a Basilo. They are one of the best underwater creatures um, for a number of reasons. Namely, they don't get shocked by the jellyfish. Um, so, like, they take damage, but it doesn't knock you off the mount when you are shocked by the jellyfish, which can be kind of a big issue in the ocean if you are riding something like a shark or an ichthy. Um, well, you won't get aggroed on an ichthy, but... If you're riding a shark, you definitely can get knocked off of your mount if you go a little bit too close to those jellyfish. So it's definitely something to be aware of, um, and it's definitely something to to try to avoid. So Basilos are great. They also have really good stats in general. They make a great caving dino um, in PC, and so I'm really hoping to get one on this series and uh, have fun with it, because it'll be the first Basilo I will have tamed on Arc Mobile ever, which will be great. All right, the problem is that our shark is not the most uh, most enduring, I guess, of sharks. It doesn't have very great stamina, but it is very, very cool looking. Now, we also did get a lot of really, really good name suggestions for this guy, and I still, I'm kind of trying to think of which one of the name suggestions I really liked. Um, I know someone uh, suggested the name The Meg, which is very good. Um, and there's definitely a few other good names as well, like Sharknado was kind of a fun one. Um, yeah, so I'm still kind of chewing on that. We'll probably name this guy by the end of the episode after I go ahead and tame myself up a, uh, a bassy. Alright, let's go ahead and kill these sharks while we're out here. This one's almost dead. You come here. You're making life difficult. I'm, yeah, there we go. The dolphins are just, like, getting in the way here. I don't know why they think they want to swim up here and get eaten, but there you go. I think we're hitting them. Yes, we're hitting them. Perfect. And now our, uh... Now our shark has plenty of meat, which is great news for us, because, um... He probably would get hungry going all the way down here if we didn't have some fish meat to eat along the way. So this works out rather well. I'm going to try to avoid too, too many fights um, just because it will save time and then I won't get weighed down with meat. And in the meantime, I will be out here looking for a Baslo. They do kind of sit around the surface of the water, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping we'll find one without too much trouble. I might even use the pursuit to see if it can lead me to one that's on the map. Um, because as I said, they can be found up here, but uh, it's not 100% to find them over by Herbivore Island here. So, I'm just hoping. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start searching in this little area here. And hopefully I will be able to bring you guys back once we have found a Baslo that we are ready to try to tame. So, I will see you guys in a little bit here. Okay, guys, well, we didn't find a Basilo, but um, there is a Tuso here in the water, as you can see, um, and he's not a happy boy. Oh, man, it's actually a high level. Dang it. Oh, I was really hoping he wouldn't grab me. Oh, boy. Okay. Up <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, I'm in trouble. <laughs> there goes the Megalodon, um, who unfortunately did not ever get a name. <sighs> man. I want to get my stuff back. I was really not expecting to run into a Tuso today. Um, and unfortunately, that was definitely not... He was much higher in the water than Tusos normally spawn. Um, dang it, that's my Ascendant Saddle, too. 
there really wasn't too much on that Megalodon that's going to be critical, and, like, there's... I, I don't have a way to tame this guy right now. It sucks, because that's actually a decent level. It's actually a very good two so. Um, but if I go out there, I will be killed, like, instantly. So, that's awful. I'm lucky I actually got out of that situation alive. And, yeah, I'm lucky I was close enough to Shore to, to get out of his grasp after he grabbed my shark. Oh, man. That's just the worst. Is he just, like, hanging out, chilling? I'm, I'm genuinely afraid to go over there. So, yeah. The issue is, is that I've not been able to find a Basilo um, in this area, and now that Tuso has definitely destroyed my day. I think I got my collar back, at least. I did. Yep. <laughs> So, rip the Megalodon and Tuso's, man, only ever when I'm not looking for a Tuso, like when I really, really don't want to run into a Tuso, do I run into a Tuso. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to get back to one of my bases. Um, they are, unfortunately, all very, very far away from here. Um, as you can kind of see, this is where I found the Tuso, by the way, is right off the very southernmost part of this map, he was just hanging out literally right next to shore and spawned in um, as I was swimming by and uh, came after me and then my Megalodon ran out of stamina. So I got up onto shore and then he caught us. Um, yeah, so I figured I would share that with you guys because, hey, we found a two, so I just can't tame it yet because I don't have black pearls or something to feed him um, while I give him black pearls. All right, so, yeah, um... Trying to figure out the best way to get back to base is definitely going to be a pain. But, yeah, we're, we're going to go out and tame something. It may not be a Baslow because I've not had any luck finding something today. We may have to tame another Megalodon or possibly an Ichthy. Um, but it's definitely not going to be that Tuso. <laughs> I do apologize for that, guys. But, uh, yeah, dang it, that's a bummer. I really liked that. Maybe we'll tame a Manta. Manta are super OP for, like, a weird reason. I don't know. They're just, they do a lot of damage um, without really seeming to be that powerful. They can do quite a bit of damage. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to get myself back to base, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So we are back, um, and I have tamed up this Manta. Unfortunately, I had a crash in the ocean um, right after taming this guy, and so... We did not, in fact, unfortunately, get to uh, see the taming of this. I used a soothing balm and some, um, what are they, angler gels. Some angler gels that I'd had back at base. So we did we did get this guy tamed up, um, and we do have just like a primitive saddle on him. Uh, it was a level 40 when we caught it, and it was just down the coast a few, a few I don't know, feet, uh, yards, I don't know, not very far. It was down that way. Um, and for those of you who are curious, this is our current map location. These are our current, um, GPS coordinates. If I can, can I, sometimes you can pick the GPS up and get it closer, but you can see the coordinates down at the bottom of the screen. So that's where we're currently at. Um, and it was, uh, pretty easy tame overall, not too much in the way. I did have a crash and got attacked by jellyfish, um, but luckily the Baryonyx and the Manta kept them off of me long enough that I could swim away and shoot them with arrows until they died. And so, yeah, this is our new Manta, and I'm, I'm really sorry we couldn't get the footage of it being tamed, but let's go ahead and just run it around a little bit. Um, that's a leech. I almost never see leeches in the game. Oh my gosh. Um, and we have an ocean leech. That's great. That just makes so much sense. <laughs> this game, I swear, it's out to get me. Yeah, so we do have this Manta. Um, not the strongest Manta in the world, but that's okay. It is beautiful. It is ours. And I'm going to love it just the same. I hope I don't crash again here. I'm hanging out pretty close to the shore in an area that I know doesn't have too many bad things up here in the top of the water column. Just because I am very afraid of having another crash and losing yet another tame today. Um... What I think is really funny is I put a simple collar on the Manta because I have been trying to collar all of my water tames just in case I lose them because um, they do swim off if they get attacked. And the simple collar goes on the tail. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that just, like, amuses me. It makes sense, but 
I don't know. I, I did not expect that when I went to put the collar on the manta, and so I thought that was kind of a cool feature that they'd added. What is this? Oh, it's a pteranodon egg, an underwater pteranodon. That's going to be cool. Awesome. So yes, the manta is extremely fast, um, and they actually... They don't do like a ton of damage all by themselves necessarily, but they are extremely maneuverable and that can make them very, very good for combat. And they do have armor piercing capabilities, so um, when I was taming this guy I actually got hit by another manta nearby and did lose my primitive scuba gear like immediately and my ascendant scuba tank. Um, was down to like half durability. It took quite a bit of durability off of it. So just a, just a heads up for those of you who are wondering, these guys are incredibly powerful um, and that makes them very, very cool. Mega Prana apparently don't aggro on us, which I suppose is good, but makes it hard to like show off the Manta's power. I can't go too deep because you guys can see I'm getting like a lot of frames and lag. There we go. A lot of frames and lag in this area, which um, I'm not really sure what's happening here, but the server seems to be struggling. My device is definitely struggling today for some reason, um, hence lost footage. And so I'm just trying to uh, prevent that from happening again while still showing off our new tame. Yeah, it's pretty great. I'm now very hesitant to go anywhere deep in the water um, because the Tuso did freak me out pretty bad. Now, the thing about the Tuso is... Um, <laughs> The Tuso itself was not that bad. The problem is, is that that Tuso was literally on shore um, when I found it. Like, it spawned in at the top of the water column, which Tusos are supposed to be like a deep water creature. They're not even supposed to be able to come up that high unless they're tamed. They have a depth limit on PC. And so it's a little bit strange that on mobile, they don't appear to have that same depth limit. And I'm a little bit worried about what that means for our... Um, our safety here as we move into ocean tames, uh, provided, of course, that we can prevent all of these crashes from happening um, on the device again, which hopefully we don't get too many of, because there was a time when the crashes made it nearly impossible to record, and I would really, really hate to have that happen again. Cool. I cannot hit this fish for the life of me. There we go. <laughs> As I said, mantas are very cool, um, but their their biggest strength is the fact that they are fast and they can pierce armor. So for underwater battles, mantas are kind of king um, until you get hit once by something a little bit bigger, and then you have a lot bigger problems on your hand. Uh, now you can also be shocked off of these by jellyfish for sure. They do get stunned by the jellyfish, and I believe they also get stunned by eels. So if you see eels, um, you should probably head in the other direction and not mess with those. These are really like a fast mount that you should be going around on and kind of escaping all of the real dangers because that is where they shine. All right, let's actually go ahead. Hopefully we don't lag out here too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just level up nothing but melee on this guy because um, the speed isn't going to help me it at all basically, but the melee could for sure um, in underwater battles here. Now the health is terrible, but again, as long as we don't run into a Tuso right offshore, we should be fine. I hope. <laughs> I'm really hoping. Okay. Let's see. Anything we can fight that's not going to uh, crash my game out, that would be good. Just gotta go really slow. <laughs> I might even take a cutscene here and uh, bring you guys back in a minute. I'm looking for just like an angler or something similar sized that we could take on. That might do it. That's an angler. But if I go too fast, I'm liable to crash. Can we take you on? Let's go over here. Real slow. That's a Moza! <laughs> Don't want to mess with a Moza. Um, we'll mess with the angler. Love messing with anglers. Look at that. Just don't want to mess with a Moza. He is gorgeous, though. I'm gonna have to... That angler's gonna come for me. Level 75 female, that's actually really good. All right, you're a problem. Come here. Uh, stop, follow. Oh no, all sorts of issues. Oh, we've got all the anglers. You know what, I'm just gonna, oh, that's a 150. Tempting, we should tame an angler at some point, honestly. Okay, 
I'm going to kill all these anglers. They're really not doing me any good, and they are causing all sorts of issues for my poor manta here. There, that's the jerk. Okay, stop. No, go away. Man, these are ugly fish. I always forget how ugly the, um, the anglers really are until I see them. What? What? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. I was like, wait, why am I looking at my manta's inventory? Alright, and then we've got these um, anglers as well, who like to take a bite and then run away because they're cowards. And yeah, there is a moza down there, so I'm not going to go too deep in the water because I don't want to aggro it. Um, just because crashes, we could actually probably try to take on a moza with this angler, um, I mean with this manta. I don't think that would be a bad idea. I've definitely beat plessies with mantas before. Um, and it's all about turn, turn speed, basically. So if you're fast enough to get behind them, um, you can kind of pick at them until they die, which is a very useful sort of feature. It's a little bit hard to hit just on, but it's bigger with a, it's better with a bigger creature that you're attacking. And you can see, we actually do a decent amount of damage for just being a manta, and it's because of those armor piercing capabilities. They kind of just go right through it. There we go. There's a Plessy down there as well. Can I sting you to death? Yes. Beautiful. All right. And now we're going to go up before we uh, before we die here. So, yeah, I'm going to take a quick cutscene, and I'll bring you guys back in just a second here. Okay, cool. So, that saved, which is great. Um, awesome. Dang. I'm actually very tempted by both the Plessy and the Moza, but that's going to be for uh, a different episode, I think. Definitely, definitely going to have to face up to the fact that I will probably lose some gear while I'm in the ocean, especially with the number of crashes I've been getting, unfortunately, um, here on the patron server. So, that's going to be a problem, but... Eh, we'll make it work. We will make it work, and I am pretty happy with how protected the shark was in this um, shallow area over here. The shark actually did not get attacked at all and was fine right up until we lost it to the Tuso. So I'm pretty pretty okay with the Manta being right here, um, being stopped, and just being a good little Manta. And if we do find a male at some point, I may actually consider breeding these as well, because manta are great. I would like to breed sharks. I would like to breed manta. I would like to do underwater creature breeding in general. I'm just a little bit concerned about... Um, that scared me. That was a frog. I'm a little bit concerned about my ability to do that um, optimally, just because the underwater is probably the hardest part of the game on your device. It, uh, it has a lot of issues in terms of um, lag and crash, and especially with there being so many things down there that can just take a bite out of you so quickly and can really incapacitate you, even if you're offline. Like, it's, it's bad. And if you lose your stuff underwater, um, there has been a bug where your item cache doesn't actually float in the water, like the ones I was looking at earlier. It just can disappear, and so that's a problem as well. I've, I've lost some gear that way. So definite issues, but um, we're going to work with them. We're going to work around them because that is the nature of Ark. And I'm still really excited, guys, because look at how cool this guy looks. He's just beautiful. And I can't get over the, uh, the collar on the tail. Oh, I kind of want to put a cone of shame on him. I don't even think I have a cone of shame, but I'm going to, you know, we're going to do that. I'm gonna do it really quick. I have a little bit of amber still to burn. Um, it makes me a little nervous to spend uh, that much on a collar. I probably won't use very much, but I think, oh, it's so worth it. <laughs> okay, so the cone of shame on the manta does um, does wrap over the tail, which is amazing. I gotta say, that's that's probably the best thing I've seen all day. That makes me so happy. Okay, guys. So on that note, no, you know what? I'm going to put it back on <laughs> for now. I'll take it off when I log off so that it can eat. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. And uh, yeah. So guys, I do think that that is actually going to do it for today's episode. 
kind of an exciting one. Um, did get to see a lot of the big underwater creatures and kind of seeing where we're going with this series from here on out. So if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button, guys, because it seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. So I will catch you guys all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.